guys and welcome back to the teacher made channel where everything is made by a teacher today i have another simple activity for you with sharpies a piece of computer paper and some counting bears this is a simple math activity that you can do at home with your child this will help them with not only counting this will also help them with their colors and it's also gonna help them with their sorting. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is you want to draw a chart on your piece of paper. It can be computer paper or it can be regular notebook paper, but I prefer it to be on computer paper because it has no lines on it and it's easier for the child to see. Okay. So you're gonna draw four lines down and then you're gonna draw a line across the top. And please excuse my drawing and then here you're going to turn the paper this way you're going to put the color bears and you can draw the bears down below or you know you can draw stick people whatever so they can make that you know that same recognition with the colors but i'm going to draw bears down below you know your bears don't have to be fancy long as the student can make that you know they know what you're drawing this is just a quick drawing okay so now that i have my bears down below as you can see i have the blue bear red bear green bear and the yellow bear and it all matches all the bears over here so after you do that then you're gonna have the child call out you're gonna have you're gonna call out a number so can you can put five bears on the green line or in the green column one two three four five so the child has put five green bears in the green column so then you can say hey can you find me three blue bears and put them in a the blue column one two three and then have the child you know use one-to-one -one correspondence and count them back one two three and then you're going to say hey can you find me six yellow bears so they have to come over here and find the six yellow bears and they have to put the six yellow bears in the yellow column so i don't know if you can see one two three four five six and then have the child count the bears back one two three four five six and make sure that they're pointing and touching the bears as they're they are counting because some children they go one two three four five six that's not correct you need to make sure the child is touching each bear as they are counting them and you can say hey can you find me 10 red bears can you put them in the red bear column so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then have the child once again repeat back counting all the bears to make sure they are correct one 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So after you do that, then you can have the child sort the bears by color. You have them put the remaining bears in colors. So have them put all the blue bears together. And then you can have them put all the green bears together. And you can also turn this into a addition and subtraction math word problem as well. But today we're just focusing on recognition, counting, and sorting. But you can do many different things with counting bears. I love counting bears. As you can see in my other videos, I had counting blocks, the unifix cubes. There are so many different things that you can do with these manipulatives, but I like to use them at my school. And when I do my tutoring on the side for students and parents who call me for extra tutoring, because it's something that they like, they like the bears. So try and find things that they like. It doesn't necessarily have to be bears. It can be anything. Just try and find something that the student or a child likes. So that is my video, you guys. And today we talked about sorting, counting, and having the child recognize and making that connections in the patterns and doing one-to-one -one correspondence. If you like this video, don't forget to click the like, share, and subscribe buttons. For more videos, you can just go through my playlist. And thanks for watching. Bye.